Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. This is a highly requested video. In this specific video, I'm going to provide, and many of you will say, finally, my price prediction for internet computer ICP. Why I do so? I have seen tons of price predictions, 50, 100, 200, 300, 500, thousands of dollars per internet computer. Many people ask me, hey, can you provide your honest and objective price prediction? Yes, I can. Based on what? Based on different data, charts, metrics, and indicators. Specifically, I will base my price prediction on the technical analysis for internet computer, fundamental analysis, social risk, and I will take in consideration the macro. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Let's start straight away with the psychology of the market. I will not repeat this too much. I will just say that we are, in my opinion, in a phase of enthusiasm for the whole crypto market. Okay, let's dig deep into the price prediction straight away and we are starting with the technical analysis for internet computer. I'm not only charting here technicals, I'm also charting emotion. In fact, all financial markets, in my opinion, are fueled, especially crypto markets, by news, emotions and sentiment, like hype or fear. So in this case... Um, when internet computer was trading around three four dollars we had a ton of apathy nobody did care about internet computer then obviously we had this first rally and the first rally um, was characterized by a ton of disbelief all the naysayers said hey it's a fake pump then obviously we had this little correction that seems little at the moment but at the time was a kind of a little bit larger correction and all the naysayers said hey i told you so it's going to break down it's going to go to new bear market lows then we had one more push to the upside that shaken that have shaken out the naysayers a little bit and this was one other phase of disbelief obviously after that we had a quite larger wave too just take a look at the time component and as i always mention there are two components for a correction price and time so in this case this was a correction that lasted from the 8th of january to the 19th of march so quite large time component and we had a ton of denial a ton of hate just take a look at my comment section from that period so many comments like hey internet computer is a rug pull internet computer is a scam internet computer is going to go to zero there is no adoption there is no utility there is no development there is no marketing blah 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 blah, blah. okay why is that so because all the, these naysayers that were shaken out with this wave one to the upside are now trying to push the price down they are bears and they are fighting for the bearish scenario to win so in this case there will be a lot of negative emotion especially in wave two to correlated uh, to the correction to the downside obviously we have seen now the latest pump which is once again characterized by fomo hype now all these naysayers that were fighting to push the price down are now jumping on board so wave one you are in disbelief wave two you're trying to deny the fact that this is going to be a pump to the upside wave three you understand that you missed the boat and you're trying to catch this in most of the cases with leverage and this is where you get wrecked in the wave for correction usually so okay now that we have charted more or less the emotions here let's uh, take a look at the technicals in my opinion this is a wave one to the upside followed by a correction in a wave two followed by an unfolding wave three to the upside what is the target for this wave three between 22 and 31 dollars more or less the important thing to say is that on a micro scale, this is now a wave three, as I mentioned, and the wave three of three already was, in my opinion, completed. We have reached the minimum requirement. Now we can see a little wave four and then one final 
push in wave 5 of 3 to complete this macro wave 3. Obviously, when we complete this macro wave 3, if we hit the 1.618 um, level here, um, we will have a correction in wave 4. Okay, a correct targets for an eventual wave 4 and just bear in mind, from here on, this is all dubious speculation because I need to take a certain number and I can just guess. So more or less, uh, let's say that this reaches the 1.618 and just bear in mind, it could reach a lower level, it could hit this target area and it could even overshoot, especially in crypto, it can easily overshoot and reach maybe even $40 in the wave tree. Then we have to recalculate all the targets for the other waves. But let's just for the sake of dubious speculation, taking consideration around $30. Okay, then uh, we will need to have a wave 4 to the downside, a corrective wave. And just bear in mind that, uh, as I mentioned, there are two elements to a correction, the price correction and the time correction. In a wave 4, usually the time component of a correction can play a big role. As wave 4s are extremely trolly, they're usually fairly long and they try to shake out all these retail investors that jumped in with leverage with the time component. In fact, they cannot keep their long positions open for such a long time. Same goes for the shorts. The price will fluctuate. Usually it will be a very boring price action characterized by low volume and therefore, again, boredom. Once again, maybe even apathy, we could say. Okay, so target is from 25 to $19. And many people um, ask me, hey, would you jump on board now? Well, I will tell you personally where I did buy. I did buy around $4.5. My cost basis is actually $4.5. I had three buy orders filled at four, four and a half, five, same size. So $4.5 in total as a cost basis. Obviously that in this case, my strategy was, okay, wait for the wave one to unfold, which happened, wait for a wave two. And eventually, if we have a deeper pullback in a wave two that did not happen, I will accumulate more. If this does not happen, all good. I'm still waiting for this to unfold in a wave three. If this was a more shallow wave two, perfect. I will wait for all these five waves to the upside to unfold. And then after that, I have to take a look at the structure of a correction and eventually track another epic entry point. Okay, this is what I'm doing because my allocation was at $4.5 and therefore I'm not having any pressure now to jump in on board. Okay, so uh, fourth wave and uh, let's um, once again say that more or less it will reach around $22 more or less and then I need to calculate the target for this final fifth wave to the upside from $35 to $43. Once again, taking consideration that all these targets can overshoot to the upside. So if this overshoots, the wave four correction will be higher and then the wave five can push even higher if it overextends as well. But more or less, let's take a look at ideal targets more or less. So the 1.618 here would be around $43. Okay, when all this unfolds, if all of this unfolds, it's and if it's not a given, Okay, nothing is a given in financial markets. We will have a correction, in my opinion. In uh, we will see if it will the correction will be in three waves. In this case, we can track a very very bullish setup. This could be just a huge wave one, off, and then we have a huge wave two, which would be an epic entry point on this chart, and then a huge wave three to the upside and in this wave then we could ev eventually reach this plus hundred dollars targets obviously as you see not only there is a lot of speculation but a lot of things need to happen for 
um, this um, obviously mega mega bullish run that could happen maybe next year if everything um, plays out correctly however my point is that in financial markets there is always a potential entry point just we need to stay patient and we need to follow some kind of of scenario and we have to have some kind of tactic in place obviously if you miss the boat you could uh, just wait for a wave for correction uh, because nothing is a given in financial markets once again okay this is more or less my uh, price prediction for uh, internet computer in the medium term more or less so for this year and maybe for next year and I need to take it a step by step. As you can see, there is a ton of speculation. Okay, let's now move to uh, the other factors that I'm taking in consideration, especially the fundamental analysis. Okay, so let's start with all the possible narratives and why I believe that internet computer is severely undervalued compared to other um, layer ones like um, Solana, or for example, uh, like blockchains like Ethereum or AVAX and so on and so forth. Well, first of all, just solely taking a look at the market cap, you may see that internet computer has a much um, smaller market cap compared to this project. However, I'm going to compare internet computer with these projects to understand why, in my opinion, internet computer has more upside potential compared to those projects. First of all, Utopia, huge, huge thing for internet computer. If this plays out, not only enterprises, but potentially governments and militaries will start using internet computer. Why, you may ask, because it's a system that allows them full control over their nodes first, then security of the network as it's hacker proof and battle tested. Moreover, the speed of the network is extremely high. The transactions on the network are low. The cost of the transactions is low and the cost of storage is exceptionally low. Therefore, this could be potentially huge for internet computer if we will have an integration. Moreover, if this happens, we also have a massive burning mechanic in place. In fact, all those corporations, governments, NGOs, militaries need to buy internet computer to pay the fees, which will cause obviously buying pressure, which could potentially lead to price appreciation of the asset. And they will need to burn these fees, okay, which will cause even more scarcity, which will cause deflationary mechanics for internet computer and the supply will drop. Many people told me, hey, internet computer has an infinite supply. What the heck are you talking about? It is irrelevant, guys. If they manage to burn more tokens than they mint, the fact that the supply is infinite is totally irrelevant. So there are Two mechanics that are inflationary for internet computer and two mechanics that are deflationary for internet computer, okay? So, one other narrative that in my opinion is mega, mega bullish for internet computer is artificial intelligence on ICP. Why? Because we are still in an infancy of adoption of AI models and deployment of AI smart contracts on the blockchain. However, Internet Computer already is working to have an integration of AI models. And we had a presentation from uh, Dominic Williams regarding AI models. As you may see from the presentation, still the AI models are fairly primitive. However, I believe with time in the next cycle. And all of those narratives are narratives that will fool, in my opinion, play out in the next cycle, maybe even in the cycle after that fully completely, but mostly we will see, in my opinion, a lot of fruits of their labor in the next cycle. So artificial intelligence, why is this important for all these potential participants as corporations, NGOs, militaries, governments, and so on and so forth? Because it severely cuts the cost of research and development teams and it decreases significantly the cost 
for cybersecurity and the potential malicious hacks. And in the last cycle, we have seen a ton of scams, bridge hacks, hacks, and much more in crypto. All of the things that we do not want to see anymore. This is why I believe that the future of the blockchain is on chain and not cross chain bridges are part of the past they proved to be very vulnerable to exploits and obviously attacks from uh, scammers and hackers nowadays everything in my opinion fully 100 percent on the blockchain and ai models will be huge because they will um, help all these corporations to be a ton more productive okay uh, moreover, gaming on internet computer. Gaming is a very hot narrative. Gaming was an extremely hot narrative in 2021. However, there was no end product. In this cycle, we are starting to see the triple A games that we want to see. If we compare Web 2 gaming with Web 3 gaming, Web 3 gaming is severely undervalued compared to Web 2 gaming. How much money goes into gaming every year? How quickly the industry of gaming is growing every year? And um, how undervalued uh, how undervalued is Web3 gaming compared to Web2 gaming? If we take all of this in consideration, if we take in consideration that we are still in an infancy phase of blockchain technology and on gaming fully deployed on the blockchain, and bear in mind, at the moment, Internet Computer is the only blockchain that offers not only NFTs, not only metaverse, but also gaming fully deployed on the blockchain. I believe if they manage to develop AAA games that are fully deployed on the blockchain, that will be game over for the competition and it will be mega, mega bullish for internet computer. Let's move on. Uh, DeFi on internet computer and also integration and adoption of dApps on ICP by Swiss banks. And this is just the beginning. Uh, Definity obviously is based in Switzerland. They are starting with their um, market in Switzerland. And the fact that private banks are already using dApps uh, on internet computer to enhance their productivity, to enhance the user experience for the end uh, user of those dApps and to make the whole KYC procedure much quicker is, in my opinion, also a factor that is mega bullish for internet computer. Moreover, social fi like open chat, and this will also be a big part of the future as all the socials will be on the blockchain, fully decentralized. Okay, on top of that, which are the other metrics that I'm taking a look at? The team. Fantastic team, more than 250 scientists did develop this project. If you go just to make a basic research on the website of Definity, you will understand that these people worked for big corporations before joining um, Definity and that these people are really scientists that did develop this project. Moreover, uh, internet computer, why I believe is still severely undervalued because we had the FTX scam and exploit at the launch of internet computer, which pumped immensely the price and that did lead um, to a loss of trust by the retail investor, but not only, but also this potential market participants that will adopt internet computer in the future. Uh, they maybe did not jump on board straight away because there was still the negative connotation about the launch of internet computer. There are many more other factors that I'm taking a look at. For example, the comparisons between internet computer and other blockchain. Not only the transactions per second are much, much, uh, internet computer is much, much faster compared to AVAX, Cardano, Ethereum, Near, Solana, much faster. But also the average transaction cost is fairly low compared to the competition, but most importantly, the on-chain storage cost per gigabyte is extremely low compared to the competition. Why? Because everything will be stored 100% on the blockchain, therefore the cost of storage for a decentralized cloud like internet computer is extremely important. Not, 
not only that, internet computer is not only greener than Google, but also much greener and eco-friendly than other blockchains. And you may see here the average energy consumption per transaction comparison between these blockchains. Not only average finality, very low for internet computer. Um, and much more metrics that are extremely bullish if we compare it to other blockchains. Moreover, on top of that, the, uh, the scarcity of internet computer, the supply on exchanges much more scarce than other blockchains and other projects like Ethereum, Solana, Matic, Aave, Quant, Bitcoin even, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, let's now take a look at after checking the technical analysis and fundamental analysis, let's take a look at the socials, uh, social risk. So let's take a look at the number of new, um, of the tweets and of the Twitter followers. Um, and you may see that it is growing, but not as rapidly as you would think in a totally full blown uh, bull market. And in my opinion, there is still a ton of of potential for growth here. Let's take a look also at the social risk for internet computer based on the Google Trends and Google searches, still very low compared to other projects. So the social risk is still, in my opinion, um, low to medium uh, or to moderate for internet computer. Okay, let's now take a look at the macro. And I am a big fan of the macro because we are still in Bitcoin season. The Bitcoin dominance is still elevated. What does this mean? If this starts breaking down heavily, it will be all an altcoin season and internet computer could potentially shine and reach this very high price valuations when we will have the peak of the bull run, when we will be in a bubble. And if we will have obviously lose monetary policy, which we do not have now. Okay. Just keep that in mind. So risk assets still are something that the big players are not taking into consideration due to the fact that we are in a tightening cycle and due to the fact that the Bitcoin dominance is still so elevated. Let's take a look at the performance against Bitcoin. Internet computer is starting to outperform Bitcoin. Obviously, this was a mega move, 225% to the upside. And obviously, I'm now tracking a potential higher high. If this higher high will play out now, internet computer will have a very strong momentum going into the potential altcoin season. If the altcoin season plays out, it's never a guarantee. Moreover, let's take a look at the total tree. The total tree is nowhere near the highest. Therefore, there is still a ton of room for the growth of the altcoin market. And in my opinion, with a ton of um, excess liquidity, with loose monetary policy, the total tree could even 2x from the last peak at around $1 trillion, therefore $2 trillion. If we take in consideration that we are now sitting at around $700 billion, you may see that there is still a ton of room to grow and still a ton of capital could potentially flow into the altcoin market. Moreover, let's take a look at the total crypto market cap. We are obviously approaching the highs, but why? Not because uh, altcoins did something because Bitcoin is strong, because Bitcoin is pushing. But even though with all the strength, even though uh, Bitcoin is at an all time high, reached an all time high, we are not, we did not pierce this top. Still, in my opinion, also on the total crypto market capitalization, we have a lot of room to the upside. In my opinion, we will create a higher high here and we will keep on tracking strength. Let's take a look at the historical snapshot from the last cycle, November 2021. Also an indication, in my opinion, all these market caps for top 10 projects will double in this cycle. I'm not saying that these projects will stay in the top 10, just I'm taking a look at their market caps to understand what is the potential for a lower tier top 10 altcoin. In my opinion, internet computer will be in the top 10. Um, 
will it be in the top five many people ask me or top three well possibly in future cycles if all the narratives play out um, perfectly however to be in the top five a project needs tons of hype just look at solana Solana uh, in this cycle did have a ton of hype, ton of marketing, and obviously is performing well due to the heavy aggressive marketing in the project. Obviously, there is also a ton of leverage that is inherent to this pump. Obviously, if you push from ten to two hundred dollars, obviously there is also leverage, and so on and so forth. Does Internet Computer have the momentum and the hype that solana is having at the moment i don't think so not even close if internet computer would have such a momentum and such hype with all these fundamentals that it has i believe that internet computer could do extremely well even then be in the top five no problem however in this cycle um number 10 would be already fantastic in my opinion so Dogecoin last cycle, $27 billion. Currently, um, in my opinion, 2x, as I mentioned, so more or less $55 billion. Where is internet computer at the moment? Internet computer at the moment is around, I believe, $7 to $8 billion in terms of market cap. Therefore, you do your own calculation how high this could go if it reaches the top 10 and if if we really do a 2x on market caps in this cycle, which I believe, once again, it's something possible. Also, let's take a look at the other risk factors related to the fear and greed index. Historically, um, when we spend longer period of times in greed or extreme greed, this may be a top in uh, an indicator of a top in the current cycle. If we look historically, uh, we will see that in the last cycle, we have spent around two to three months in extreme greed before collapsing to the downside. Obviously, in this cycle, we have uh, had a massive uptrend here. However, we did not spend as much time in extreme greed, especially on levels above 90 on the crypto fear and greed index. Obviously, this is not a guarantee that this will not break down. In fact, I believe that we will have a cool down period at some point and that we could potentially then eventually at the end of this year or um, in 2025 create a new high. Obviously, these are all speculations from my side. Uh, we always need to stay on the side of caution, I believe because I'm, as always, tracking low-risk, high-reward setups. The higher we push, the less opportunities there will be in the market, and I will start to dynamically DCA out of my positions, which I already started to do for some old coins that, in my opinion, are overextended. I'm sorry, uh, like Solana, for example. I sold uh, some Rune. I sold some Arweave, for example, also had a mega run and so on and so forth. So I'm taking profits in this uh, project that I believe that at least in the short term look a little bit overextended. Obviously, I have an exit strategy for all of these uh, projects that I'm holding. Okay, uh, going back to internet computer, I believe um, that I did explain more or less based on all these metrics, where do we stand? Let's recap quickly. I believe that Internet Computer is an amazing project. 10% of my portfolio is allocated in Internet Computer, which is my second largest holding at the moment. Why I did invest in Internet Computer? Because I have a long-term vision of this project. I believe that most of these narratives will play out in the next cycle. I believe that the team needs to keep on working on all these narratives. They need more obviously adoption and they need when their project will be fully developed marketing heavy marketing if they want to push their narratives obviously i really like what they're doing the future of the blockchain in my opinion is 100 percent on chain not cross chain anymore and i believe that they are moving in the right direction internet computer is the only blockchain 
third generation blockchain. Therefore, I don't expect that in this cycle, many market participants will understand the value of a true um, blockchain that is a third generation blockchain. However, in the future, more and more people, I believe, will understand why internet computer is so great and why what they're doing is so revolutionary. Okay, guys, once again, I will, before ending this video, remind you, next week is the week of Zero to Hero. I'm going to publish my 100% free course regarding um, risk management, and we will learn the 10 principles to continuously profit in financial markets. So stay tuned for that. Give me a big fat thumbs up, uh, thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe to the channel. As you see, I'm already tired at the end of this video, but stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.